in the digital online space where you have three seconds, five seconds, seven seconds to capture the attention of a potential audience, you need to be niche. People like they hear that word and they cringe and they get all itchy and high V and you know, like it's, it's just <laughs> like if people are like, really, they have like an aversion to the idea of niche. And I think it's because of a lot of misconceptions about niche, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So yeah, you are absolutely right. People have all these terrible, bad misconceptions that having a niche is going to stick them in a box and they're not going to be able to truly express themselves and all their passions and things that they want to do and like to do, which I, I, I get it. I felt that way too at first. However, if you want to resonate and relate with people, if you want to share memes that they're going to appreciate, share quotes that they are going to appreciate, share content in general, tips, hacks, lists, all these things, then you need to understand who you are talking to. If I share something about YouTube to somebody who doesn't care about YouTube, they're not going to like that post. They're not going to interact with it because it doesn't re resonate and relate with them. So you have to niche down to a, to a point where you are talking to a specific audience and helping them, resonating with them, relating to them, giving them the type of information that they want and that they need. Nike sells sneakers. I don't like Nike sneakers. I like Reebok better. You know, preferences are different depending on the consumer and you can't be the solution for everyone. That's why there are different products. That's why there are different services out there and available because we're all different. We're all unique. So you have to market yourself to a strategic and a specific group of people if you want to stand out in your market and not just be another sneaker that's up for sale. You need to be specific right. about who you are speaking to to make that differentiation and to be successful in your business. Yeah, I, I agree with you 100%. I forget who said it, but they said if you can't be number one or number two in your market and number two with a chance of being number one, then you need a new market. Build a reputation first. If you have an idea of a niche that you want to create, great. But when you're first starting out, if you don't have that innovative idea to throw out there to the world, like the next Amazon or the next iPhone or whatever, then start with what you know. Typically what I tell people is, two things. One, who do you currently serve that you absolutely love? What does that look like? Or the second thing, which is the most common, who were you and what did you need before you found the solution that you have now that you're so passionate about? Because that is typically yeah. where most of us start. We started a business because we found a solution to something that was a problem that we're like, we're excited about and we're thrilled to tell the world about oh my gosh i figured out how to grow on instagram let me tell you mm. let me tell you how to do it yeah, so right. go, this is so great so that's typically where people start that's typically where i i push people to start is one of those two spaces either your favorite clients or where you were before you yeah. found the solution yeah that's great that I, I i think that's if you've had clients if you've had work even if it was free work or whatever and you, it was somebody that you liked, like do the work, you know, to me, like a lot of branding is self-discovery, self-awareness is self-discovery. Like, who am I? Who are the people I work with? Why do I like what I do? You know, it, it's understanding. I always say it's the thing behind the thing. So like a lot of us think like social media management is my thing. No, it's not. You like that because why? You like to serve other people. You like to organize data. You like to look for, you know, the, the cheat code of how things work. Like for me like i i got into this because what i realized about myself is i love i get i get up in the morning i would do it for free i can't stop thinking about it, helping other people figure out ways to find opportunities to succeed 